Welcome to Aviva Sings Out. Gung, every Wednesday, 1.30, live for you. Monday's at 11.30. We're still adjusting to that. Thank you so much for being here. You might be here because you are a dedicated Qigong practitioner, which means you practice Qigong. Or you might be here because you are having issues with getting things moving. What does that mean? You might be having issues with your emotions flowing. You might feel stuck emotionally. You might have bowel constipation. You might just feel like you cannot finish something or some things in your life, whether it's a project or jumping into the relationship that you're resisting. And why? Why are you not able to take action, let's say? That's another thing that you might not be getting moving. You might not be able to take action and get a job or take action and follow through with someone who wants to interview or follow through with someone who wants to hire you. What is it that's stopping you from taking action? What is it that's stopping you from getting things moving? Well, besides needing sleep, good breathing, and good nourishing foods, there could be all kinds of different things going on in your life. The general feeling might be that instead of your feet being on the ground and walking on your path so purposely and easily and flowing with the peace and the love and the joy within, you might be feeling like everything is up in the air. And you, and, you, and you don't know where to be to catch those pieces that are about to fall. And then you're like, well, I've been so patient. Nothing's fallen yet. I, I don't even know how to take action. This could cause severe depression. And then once again, you can't take action because you're so depressed. So what can you do? You can work on not being malnourished. You can work on not having a lack of sleep the best you can. But a lot of times you want to eat junk and you don't want to sleep because you feel stuck and you can't take action. Well, that's why you're here, my friends. Congratulations. You made it through the door. And we're going to do an hour energy cleanse so that you can possibly not only be just taking action in this next hour of cleansing your body, and hopefully this class will activate you and magically, miraculously, you'll be able to start taking action in your life in new, beautiful ways so that you can finish that project, nurture that relationship, finish things, start things, just feel like you're in the flow, feel your feelings. Being able to just be yourself, be your best self. So we're going to jump right in simply by paying attention to our breath. Are you breathing right now? Of course you are. If you are alive, you are breathing. But is your breathing deep and connected to every cell of your body? Don't force it. Just let it, just allow it. How, you may be wondering, is this crazy chick going to get me moving, going to get things moving in my life? Well, it's not magic. Your organs are all responsible to different energies in your body. And we are going to give those organs energy and that is what's gonna get you moving. In order to give certain organs energy, you take away destructive energy and blocks that could be in your organs. Sure, this might have materialized into physical issues, but it starts energetically. So when you resolve things energetically, it can help resolve the physical issues as well.
We're gonna do work with, we're gonna do the Wuji Gong today, which helps the total energy cleanse. And we're gonna focus on our liver to begin with class. Because the liver regulates your emotions according to Chinese medicine. If your liver is toxic, then not only might you have toxic bouts of rage and meltdowns, you also might not be able to feel your feelings at all. You might feel stuck. But before we do that, <clears throat> do you have intentions you'd like to share with me? Just stating your personal intention for class today is a great way to take action. Waking up every day and just stating your intention for the day is a great way to take action. Intention is very important. It's like the glue that holds life together. My name is Aviva and my intention is to be here with all of you today and to get things moving in all of our lives towards our goals, towards completion, towards diving into our peace, love, joy, connection, towards being our best selves. What are your intentions today? Thanks for the thumbs up, I see you. All right. Breathe in your intentions. Release anything in the way. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. As we wait for more intentions to fall in, sink in, drink in, touch your heart and ask yourself if you know, at the end of the class, you feel you've gotten something out of this and you want to give back to this free class and water the seeds here and help this channel move. Then ask yourself what you feel comfortable giving and then you can donate it to the Cash App. A-A-T-F-P. Totally whatever you feel. <sighs> Breathe in your intentions. Release anything that's holding them back. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. Breathe in your intentions. Release anything in the way. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. We're going to start with the liver mudra. The thumb is connected to the ring and the middle. <clears throat> Feel the energy between all of these fingertips. Relax the fingers. Love your liver. Let your consciousness go to your liver energy. Smile on your liver. Feel your liver smiling back at you. Thank you. 
Let's do some acupressure points on our face now to just activate some energy right here. We're going to do this point under the lip. <clears throat> Breathe into that. Nice and easy. <laughs> That's awesome, Kevin. Such a jokester. Can you feel the opening of things in your energy when you're pressing on this very powerful point right here? Let's bring it down a little bit. <clears throat> And one more down. You can switch fingers. Wow, Jabri, I can see you. Did I hit subscribers only? I think I did. Now YouTube is recognizing that you're subscribed. Maybe somehow it had to do with the Facebook ban on not being able to comment. I don't know why that would be connected to it though. Anyway, gently run your fingers along just the front of your neck, like just very gently activate this area. Be very gentle because you don't want to choke yourself. And just kind of like massage these areas very, very gently. It might help you kind of breathe a little bit in weird ways. You're very welcome. Okay. Now we're going to open up the ribs a little bit. So just kind of do a little acupressure right in here. Just real gentle. Okay. So now being able to take action is generally a yang issue. Yin energy is like cool with staying home and doing nothing and sitting in the dark, yummy, deep energy. But that young energy, it's expansive. It wants to expand. It wants to grow. It wants to complete your projects. So we need to unblock the young energy if you're having a hard time taking action. And that's what we're doing. Opening up that rib cage. We're going to do some very good young stretches. For our young 
organs. So get ready to stand up. We're going to jump right in. Oh, that's a good point right there. You feel that? Oh, opening it all the way up. Further out and further out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, right there. And more. And more. Oh. All right, shake it out. We are going to rise. We're going to move the chair over. And we're going to grab our earthing mat over here. It's like standing on the earth. We are going to do the Wuji Gong, but not yet. First, we are going to do the triple yang stretch. So this is essential to do every single day. If you have depression, if you are stuck in any way, if you're constipated, I'm not saying this will resolve it right away, but doing it every day, eventually it'll build up and it will help you because you are activating your triple heater. So there's three bands of energy around you young energy that's just like, ooh, let's go expand in the world. Ooh, oh, it's good to shake. Shake, shake. It's like, if you just do little twists and shakes, like twist and shout, there's some wisdom to that song. It's a qigong move to twist the body. It's almost like you're moving those bands. I mean, think about it. Like if you have, I don't know, like if a lid gets stuck in your coffee like when you twist it that didn't make any sense like an empty mug in the sink like when you twist it like this like it might loosen up that cap right so the same thing it's like if you have energy that's stuck to your triple heaters then it helps to twist and like it helps to imagine these like bands of light almost like rubber bands that are surrounding you and it's like you're trying to move within them and it's almost like you can imagine like a singing bowl, how a tone might be coming out of your body as you're doing this, like, ooh, ooh. imagine it three places around the chest, around like the belly button, like above the belly button and below the belly button. going around you. They're making music. It's fun to warm them up before the stretch. I've never done that before. It just happened intuitively. So now that they're even warmer, the stretch is even going to be more effective. Now this stretch, which is a stretch I'm saying you have to do every day if you're having issues with not moving. Right foot over the left. Hug yourself. 15 hugs a day. Take a deep breath and twist. So what's going on is both of your knees are bent. I'm sorry you can't see mine. Your left foot's on the floor. You're twisting to the left and your right heel is up and you're going to come back, take a deep breath and again, twist. And feel how it's activating those bands of energy around you. It might activate emotions. Imagine yourself putting on your cape like you're Superman and now you can interact with the world in your heroic ways. You don't even have to be a hero. Just being yourself is a hero. But it does kind of feel like you're putting on a cape. 
and expanding yourself so you can fly. One more time. Mm. And now let's do the other side. Shake it out. Left foot goes over the right. Hug yourself. You're lifting that left heel. The both knees are bent. Take a deep breath and twist to the left. Twist back and forth. Causing yawns might be a good thing. It could be the breath is expanding deeper. I'm gonna do two more very expansive Qigong moves. You could probably guess what they are. And they're both for the large intestine. Now I'm saying the large intestine because the large intestine is the yang organ in this yin yang pair that the stretch is really for both of them. The stretch is really for the lungs and the large intestine. But we are focusing on yang organs right now because our yang energy, which ironically is the large intestine and is the part of you that you want to move things out of, all of the yang organs are what is moved through, like things move through them way more than other the other organs. So the lungs, yes, actually the lungs, the breath moves through them as well, but it's even more yang the large intestine, things moving through them. But everything has things moving through them. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to link the thumbs together and you're opening up your feet so they're like wide, wider than your shoulders or even wider than that. And then you're going to bend over. I'll take a deep breath and bend over. Nice deep breath. Breathing in to every cell of your body, then breathe out gently through every cell of your body. Okay. And then we do this other stretch, arms up, one leg out. Bring it in. You might have, you can scream if you want, emotional release. Just be kind to the people around you, warn them, or if they're sleeping, maybe don't. back down, link the thumbs together. Okie dokie schmokey. Now we're gonna do the tiger, are you ready? Can you handle it? Two long large intestine movements in a row, getting things moving. This is metal. So you can remember it by thinking, okay, if I was in the woods and I needed to make a path through all the, what's it called? Thimbles. I would have my metal machete and I would carve that path. And that's what you're doing right now. You are carving that path so that you can keep moving and not be stuck in one place surrounded by weeds. You're pulling the weeds with this metal when you're doing the tiger. Ready? Get all those. Negative weeds out of you. Here we go. Pull them out with your claws. <sighs> Open up those eyes and nostrils and mouth wide. Stick out your tongue if you want. Make a hissing sound. 
scream, whatever. Very good. All right. Now we're going to do the monkey to get things moving for the stomach energy, even though it's also for the spleen. The stomach is more of the yang energy. And that's why eating well and eating nourishing foods is one of the best things you can do to get your body moving. A tall glass of grass. <laughs> I mean, green juice. Mmm. So good for the stomach. So here we go. Monkey, right heel up. Yum, 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 yum. Step with the right foot. Right hand comes out. Left comes down. Left toe. Heel up. And out. Get things moving with that monkey. Doing the monkey dance. I was just wondering what your intention was, Jabri. He'd like to hold, hold his body to the feet today. And he used the magic gel. The magic gel is very good for young. It's linked in my description of the video. And we did a movement where we held our bodies when we did the twist of the triple yank. I thought of calling this class from paralysis to peristalsis like feeling paralyzed with certain things in your lives versus that gentle squeeze like peristalsis that just helps things to move along. I think that's a beautiful metaphor. Like if you feel stuck, just like you have a natural heartbeat in your life, just imagine this peristaltic squeeze on, what, on your goal. Like imagine it being squeezed out into the world like squeezing a tube of toothpaste or silly gum. And this is when you do, when you're really focused on these Qigong movements, you are really cleansing your energy. It's not just a workout. I mean, all workouts essentially cleanse your energy. When you move the blood through, that's one of the best things about exercising. Sure, it can help you lose weight and look good, but why? You're moving that blood, that toxic blood out of you. It's circulating. It's getting circulated. The heart is pumping faster. So it's moving through that blood and cleaning it. It's kind of like if you would put the water on for a while to cleanse something out of the water. It's like, that's why it's called the water is running. When you're running, you're cleansing your blood. When the water is running, it could be cleansing the water or it could just be wasting water. All right, that's some good monkeying around. All right, let's do a little more twisting. Let's do some cheese squats, bend and up. 
bend. Get those hips open. Bend and up. Bend and up. Bend and up. And bend and up. And bend and up. And bend and up. Let's get the upper body moving. Grab an imaginary ball and bring it up an imaginary tube. So you are getting that the triple yang movement with this one too. And then push higher and higher, like you're pushing that ball higher and higher. This is a great daily one too. All right, again. And one more time. That is such a good one. I'm so glad I remembered to do it. So good for getting things moving in that upper back area. Oh my God. And reach. It's harder to get things moving when more stuff comes in. That's the trick about aging. People don't realize it's like more inner child work gets dropped on your front door every single day. So if you haven't done it your whole life, it gets really, 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 really heavy. And that's how I am with projects. It's like if I have like, you know, a couple of hours of footage for a project, it's a lot easier to move that project out if, than if I have eight hours of information to go through. If I just have 15 minutes, oh, that's really good. So the more information you have about something, it's harder to move it through. So finding that balance is very tricky. It's like harder to take the trash out if it's overflowing. It's like if you take it out when it's halfway full, it's probably easier to take it out. And you might think, well, I'll just do it out in one time and save time but then it's getting heavier and smellier and you're even resisting it more. So those are all our little balancing games that we have in life metaphorically. Doing Qigong every day makes everything easier, moves everything better. We're gonna go jump right into our Wuji Gong, feet shoulder width apart, bending your knees a little bit. You're gonna bring your yin hand, which is right for women, left for men, under the belly button, yang on top, like two fingers, apart from the belly button on each side. This is my belly button. They're my hands. And you're gonna shake, you're gonna press the hands in a little bit so that you can kind of feel the tummy shaking. So just this first movement in the Wuji Gung is amazing for getting things moving. I mean, it's why babies love being rocked so much. They're doing this movement. Uh, you can add sound to it. And then it's like that resonance is happening in the whole body. Thanks for being here, y'all.
it's kind of like why it's really good to deal with like relationship issues right away most of the time because the longer you wait it's like the heavier it becomes the crazier you might feel more angry you might get you know because something gets out of alignment and it's like things just get more and more and more out of alignment Sometimes time heals things, though, too. Shake a shake a shake a shake shake shake. Bring the bottom hand out, top, down, and shake, shake, shake. And shake it out. And come to stillness. Palms facing back. Drop the left shoulder down and then just gently release it back up. Don't pull it back up, you wanna keep it down. Right shoulder down and relax. It might not come back up. Left and right. Back and forth. Roll the left shoulder back three times. And the right. And the left. And the right. And the left. And the right. And both at the same time. So much gunk. And let the arms float up. 
Turn the palms out and then gently let them float down like feathers. And come up halfway and reverse. Amazing. Nothing can hold you back. In hand over the head, yang on top, fingers spread, and just imagine all the light pouring into you. Breathe a few times, all the way down to your toes. Hands over your neck. Your heart. And side. And then lift the left heel up. Bending both knees, rotate that left knee towards the right. And the other direction. Doesn't it feel good to be in this dimension together? Practicing chi energy, cleansing and building. Drop that left heel, lift the right heel up, bending both knees, rotate towards the left. And the other direction, please. Both feet together, knees together, thighs together, bend all the way down, little tiny rotations to the left. Mm -hmm. 
make sure you can breathe as you do this. Other direction, please. Oh, it's so amazing when you just feel that energy unraveling all kinds of things in your body. Feet shoulder width apart, part. Check in with that earth energy. Bend the knees. Feel those feet grabbing and webbing the ground, just sinking in like duck feet. Okay, alchemizing humanity, bringing the hands about two fists away from that lower dantian, which is right under the belly button, about two fingers. And you're gonna rotate to the left, keeping that same distance, like you're holding a small ball. Relaxing those hips. Other direction, pretty please. Mm. I'm glad you can comment too. Okay, so now we're going to open our legs like we did for the tiger. And we're going to bend and reach that left arm all the way up to the ear and just let it drop down gently like a feather. Nice and slow. I am doing this back and forth and I'm going to step away from the screen. And I'll be back after I do 18 all together. Okay, now you're going to reach across the body. Still the feet wide and knees bent. Back and forth. I'm going to step away from the screen. Keep going.
And now, my friends, congratulations, you have reached the time to do Wuji. We'll just do this for a few minutes. And here we just explore the energy and just let our arms just move however and our whole body just to explore the chi for a few minutes. I'm stepping away from the screen, but I'll be back in a few. Thirty more seconds. I affirm that things are moving for you. We're going to do one more exercise for class. I know we didn't do the feet today. I have to run and teach another class. I usually do an hour and a half, but today we're just doing an hour. But I'll be here next Wednesday for an hour and a half and Monday for an hour and a half as well. If you haven't seen Monday's class, it's really great as far as dealing with meltdowns, which I, I know a lot of you are having meltdowns out there because there's not enough love in the world. If there was plenty of love, there'd be a lot less meltdowns. We need more, more, more love every day, everywhere. More patience, more understanding, more compassion, more nurturing, more forgiveness, more flexibility. Good job, everyone. Okay, so we're gonna end with the arthritis mudra. So a lot of you are having trouble moving because it's painful, because you have a pain. Because arthritis is no fun. So besides doing whatever you can to stay away from sugar and processed foods and fast foods and chemicals and environmental toxins and adding nourishment to your body, besides that, you always have this trusty dusty exercise that you can do put your index finger of your right hand on your left middle finger and the middle finger of the right hand 
on your left pointer. So it's like they're opposites attracting. I love you. I love you too. Okay, sorry. And then the ring finger of the right hand goes to the pinky of the left. And the pinky of the right goes to the ring finger of the left. I know it's not easy. Let's see what that does for you. Maybe that pain helps your pain a little bit. Yes, I encourage you all to do the feet today after this. It'd be great if you can just go live on your channel, Jabri, and teach everyone the foot massage. You should do that sometime because you know it by now, right? You remember it? You could teach it to others maybe a little bit. I challenge you. I saw that. That's so exciting, Jabri. Oh, I love Ohio. I actually just met someone at Golden Drops this past Saturday who is from Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, studying to be an entertainment lawyer. Read a few more times. So yeah, just like the hug yourself stretch, this is probably an everyday thing for depression and chronic pain to just give you a little bit of love to help you through everything. All right. Any questions? Anything you want to share? Any comments? Any requests? Any struggles? Any aha moments? We're going to go ahead and bow out. Optional bow, thanking all the lineage holders. Thank you, Zhangshu. Thanking all the teachers. We fill our hearts with gratitude and compassion and spread this out to whoever you want. Who are you grateful for? Spread out the good energy. Love you. And see you next week. See you Monday. See you Saturday live at Golden Drops Cafe, three to five, if you want to come to Decatur, Georgia. And yeah, stay tuned for some upcoming Sunday songwriting videos I've been working on in the editing room. Got a couple more cannabis education videos as well. Speaking of which, happy 420. And I'm super proud of the video I just released about cannabis car kind of weaving together the two songs that were in dispute at Sharon's shape of you and sammy switches oy which was about the horrors of war and uh i love his line that says massive distraction from peace or something like that it's like war not only is a not peaceful thing, but it massively distracts us from actively creating peace because we're thinking we got to focus on war instead of peace. Peace, can it really come from war? Can water come from fire? Can peace put out the war if we all focus on our peaceful energy and our chi? Can this put out the war? Do we have the power? Can water put fire out? Or a blanket? <laughs>